Hello everybody and welcome and in today's video we are going to be talking about display settings and how to get Tekla to well, look a little bit better. Now the first thing is that if I rotate or move you'll see that my model flickers between solid and wireframe and this is something that happens now in the newer Tekla and most likely it's just a driver compatibility issue. Now speculation purely on my part this might have something to do with Tekla moving from OpenGL to DirectX. So we are going to take a DirectX rendering and turn that on. Now you'll see it's still doing that, and that's because we need to reopen our view. So once you've done that setting, if you've got a problem, simply close your view, reopen it, and you'll see that it no longer does that. You'll also see that the colors are a little bit brighter, the lines are a little bit softer and a little bit rounder on the edges. It's all part of the DirectX display. Not everyone's cup of tea. Personally, I like the old sharp lines, but I like my images to be stable a lot more and therefore this is preferable. Now, the next setting we are going to go look at is our advanced settings. If you go into model view and look under user 1, 2, 3 and 4, that's 1, 2, 3 and 4, the corners of your screen, you'll see that they already provide you with a base color for black as well as for white. Now, they don't tell you what the colors they are currently using are. Unfortunate, they used to do this, but they have removed that. If you wish to use either of these two black and white colors, wonderful. If not, Tekla does provide a nice little color chart, so I think I'm going to do a nice sky blue and a darker blue at the bottom so we are going to go for the light blue over here and by selecting that Tekla will give me the numbers at the top right over there those two can go there and if I go back and say right I would like a darker blue maybe something along this line over here that should be good I'm going to copy that in and paste it over there once you're done with that, fly, open up your view list and just throw that over. Not exactly the color scheme that I was looking for. Unfortunately, the actual blue that I wanted isn't really available on the chart. And Tekla used to provide a tool that would allow you to get, well, just about any color that you really want. Nice couple of sliders, very easy to use. Unfortunately, uh, there is a slight error. Now, this isn't too hard to fix, but I'm not going to get into that right now. I will provide a link to the tool as well as my preferred colors just to make it easier. Colors 1 and 2 will be 0 0.5, 0 0.8 and 1. Colors 3 and 4 will be 0 0.37 and 0 0.99. And this I find gives me a really nice blue. And this is fairly easy on the eyes. Now the next thing that you'll find is not all of the colors are necessarily good with each other. For example, if you try to measure something, you'll find that it's got a magenta dimension and it's written in black. And for those, we will be having a look around in our advanced options and we can find everything that we need to do right over here. When you're heading on down, try and look out for anything that says display dimensions. There we go. When creating, when selecting, good uh, grid color there we've got our colors again and we can change this with whatever you find to be comfortable for your eyes remember that you will most likely be spending quite a few hours working on this program so do try and stick to more neutral colors having something like a sunset explosion on your background might be a nice idea at the time but it can be quite straining on the eyes. There we've got our fast color, we have dimension text color, dimension line color, the ones we see over here. So mostly everything is in model view, just scroll on down and look at where it says color and that should be the colors you are looking for. Well that's it for this video, hope you all enjoyed, hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next one.